Hey everybody, how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's having a great day today. It is Kitchen Talk Time with Grana. Yes, it's that time again. And we're gonna get ready and hop on up in this kitchen and have a little conversation about Love and Marriage Huntsville, guys. Yes, we're gonna have to go ahead and talk about it a little bit, okay? Alrighty, so the last episode that I seen, uh, it started out with Destiny being at the studio. You know, Destiny, um, before she came on the show, uh, I think she was pursuing a singing career. I've heard her talk about it a little bit on previous shows, so I think that's what she was doing. And I don't know how that panned out, but then she got married to Ladarius, and then she became a part of the show. And everybody knows now because she started out with Melanie Friends, and that done went to the lab. So now she's kind of making a, building a friendship with Letitia, but she was at the studio and from the little bit they were showing of her in there, um, I guess working on her, her single, she was, um, the song kind of sounds, mm, kind of like she's talking about her, um, her marriage a little bit, could be, but you know, that's what they was talking about. And then Letitia popped in for a second and they was having their little discussion about Mel allegedly standing outside the door talking about uh, listening to their conversation with the last reunion and all this kind of stuff, okay? And then, you know, they just went on to talk about that a little bit, which I think that everything that happened on that reunion, they need to just go ahead and leave it at that reunion. But hey, that's just my thought, okay? So we move on from there to Martell. Uh, Martell is doing a photo shoot and um, I guess it's a Valentine's photo shoot. And I guess I missed that on social media a few months ago because I really don't follow Martell like that at all. I look at the page where they sit, what the page they got set up on social media about love and marriage period, but I don't personally follow Martell. So he was doing a photo shoot and he has a new manager. I guess it's working on trying to bring his image back around and improve on his branding and his image and all that. Let me turn this light up a little bit to that, okay. So they was doing that and they had a scene where he's in his robe and um, wanted to see him, I guess they wanted him to get up in the bathtub or something and he caused Destiny to come and bring him some baby oil, okay. So she did, she brought the baby all over. She didn't stay very long, made a few comments, and then she went ahead and bounced, Destiny did. And um, you know, while Martell was getting ready for his shoot, his manager was telling him about different events that he has coming up. And uh, uh, also, um, I guess he's co-arching a book with his kids, and they're getting ready to do a book event, which you're gonna see on the next episode where he's got it set up for them to do a book signing and you'll see how that uh, look like it's gonna go to the left for him. But you'll see that on the next episode. So that's all, you know, Martell had going on and he went to the compound, this this gym that um, Lewis, Tiffany husband owned and they was there and they was pretty much still talking about stuff that went on during the reunion and all this kind of stuff. But he went by the compound and um, talked to Lewis a little bit, okay? And let's see, oh, Marcel, Letitia, they're at their business hanging out and Wanda pops in and comes in. So they're having, well, first Wanda, of course, is, is doing what Wanda does. You know, she's trying to get up into Marcel's butt, talking about this apartment that I guess the guy's supposed to have. And we've heard them talk a different discussion about this apartment. I guess this was the fun apartment or where they could go to have their fun. And, you know, she's trying to get in Martel, Marceau uh, behind about this apartment that him and Martel supposed to have together. And, you know, and, and Tisha was just sitting over there letting Wanda do what Wanda do. And that's what Tisha do. Whenever her mom comes around, she just kind of step back and just kind of sit back and let Wanda just get all up in the Marcel business. I'm not saying Tisha don't try to hold him accountable for things that goes on in their relationship on the back side of it or, or behind closed doors. I guess I should say behind closed doors. I'm sure she voices her opinion and she say because she has really came out of her shell, you know, since the show been going on. But Wanda, oh Lord. But you know, and then Wanda goes on and talking about this food truck that she got. And I heard some stuff about that food truck, but I'm gonna leave that alone. 
but you know she's getting a food truck and um really Martel act, marcel acts like he really not paying attention the whole time until tisha mentioned the money that they're the investor of this food truck that that wanda's getting his eyes popped open then and he he was looking like what we, we're, we're giving her money for this truck but you know Letitia was telling him that they um um had talked about it and discussed it and yes they were investors in the food truck for wanda and um you know she had gotten her license and all this kind of stuff to get this food truck and that's fine hopefully she her food truck is successful and all that and hopefully if wanda get this food truck to keep her up out of their business you know that's one thing one way uh marcel should be looking at it if he give her you know help her to get this food truck she can get the hell up out their business and leave them alone so we'll see how that go i don't know if the food truck has been around anywhere in the huntsville or madison area i haven't heard anybody say anything about it because if it was i would have definitely went and checked it out being nosy and also to show a little support but i would have definitely went to check out this food truck and see what it's about because she talks so much smack hopefully she can handle her business as well as the smack she be talking okay so that's what went on with that okay and then what really got me in, uh <laughs> on the show well before we get to this part melanie had went by to see stormy you know stormy is the one to have the hair product line and she also is where mel has a beautiful home and what mel did her um revealing in her release of her song on the last season at Stormy's place. And she has the beauty supply line. And um, Mel had went by to see her. She's got a um, warehouse set up in Huntsville where she uh, produced her, her um, hair line supplies. And so Melanie went by there talking to Stormy and I think they became pretty close. And she was just telling her about the whole uh, conversation that Letitia and, um, destiny was having about her now mel say she was in her room which was next to destiny or leticia whichever room that was and she could hear them they was talking that loud through the wall she could hear them discussing her and she went outside and knocked on the door and told them hey if y'all want to talk about might want to talk about people y'all might want to think about lowering your voice a little bit now on the other hand Destiny and Letitia had their version of, of that whole conversation, the whole thing. They were saying that Melon was standing outside their door listening to them. It's here or there. And that's one thing, like I said earlier, they need to leave that, be done with that. That happened on the last episode during the reunion and all that. So they need to leave that alone. But she was having that discussion with Destiny and they was talking about that and everything. And they talked about their business and stuff too. And she invited Destiny to a pajama party that she's getting ready to have. Now, all this happened months ago, and her pajama party was, was scheduled to, to take place in December. So, Destiny was like, cool. I mean, uh, not Destiny. I'm sorry. She invited Stormy to the um, pajama party, and Stormy was like, yeah, of course, I would be there. And she was asking who all was going to be there. So, then she met with Kimmy and invited Kimmy to the uh, pajama party. And, of course, Kimmy was there, and she was asking the same thing, who all was going to be there. And she was telling them who was going to be there. And she did tell Kimmy and Stormy that Letitia and Destiny was not invited. They were not going to be at her pajama party. So she did let them know that they was, wasn't going to be there. Okay. So come the night of the pajama party, she had the pajamas for everybody. It was really nice. She had her home set up really beautiful for the party and everything, had everything laid out for them. So, um, of course, you know, uh, Stormy gets there. Um, Kimmy gets there, Tiffany gets there, and I think there was another lady that was there, and then Kiki, which Kiki is Letitia's cousin, okay? So I was shocked when I saw that Kiki was there. So I'm like, come on, Mel, that's so shady. Come on now, that's pretty shady. But, you know, and, and Kimmy was really surprised when she was looking like, wow, what, you know, what is Kiki doing here? And stuff, and then, you know, I don't think Kiki was aware that Letitia or Destiny was not included or was not invited because once they all were standing there, she asked them, well, where's the um, the other Scott Scott girls? You know, where's, where's Letitia? Basically what she was saying. And Destiny, you know, just, I mean, not, not Destiny, but um, Mel just kind of looked and then Kimmy was like, hey, this ain't my party. They wasn't invited. So I, I don't think, Kiki knew about it. Now, if I was Kiki, personally, I would have exited the, the party at that point. I would have left because 
I think it was shady on Mel's part, and she had Kiki there to try to find out information about Letitia. I mean, why else would you invite this girl? Because up until this point, I've never seen her inviting Kiki to anything. So, uh, you know, especially if Letitia was not involved. So why are you inviting Letitia's cousin to come when you and Letitia are not talking and y'all are enemies? So, mm, Mel, that was shady. That was shady, Mel. But, you know, she didn't leave. At least on that episode, she did not leave. And they kind of start, well, especially, you know, when they was having discussion around the table, they start trying to pull out information from her about Letitia and Maurice, uh, Marcel's uh, relationship. And they was trying to pull it out of And I was sitting back like, girl, don't you go there. Don't you say nothing about Letitia and Marcel. You better leave that alone. Don't say nothing because there's still some people up in there and it's going to get back to Letitia. Mm -mm. And you know, if you, you know, in her and Letitia in the coming up episode, they're going to have a discussion about that. And my thing was, you're going to have to deal with, with your auntie. You have to deal with Wanda. So you better watch what you say because as soon as Wanda find out you was at this pajama party that Mel had and Letitia nor Destiny was invited and it's going to be a whole situation up in there. Wanda's going to make a whole situation out of it. So I was hoping that Kiki didn't go too far and put herself out there too much to get involved with all that and stuff. But um, she, uh, Mel also invited uh, Tiffany. Tiffany was there. And I don't know. Well, Tiffany and Kimmy had a conversation about what went on at the reunion. I'm really tired of hearing about this reunion. But they had a, you know, Tiffany felt like she needed to have a conversation with Kimmy because you know, they was talking about at the reunion that she wasn't, Tiffany was was not transparent the way she claimed to be with, you know, wanted everybody else to be. And she was transparent. So, you know, they were saying on the reunion that, you know, they had heard she had lost her job with the Chambers of Commerce and, you know, and all this kind of stuff. So she felt like she needed to clarify or she needed to clear that up with Kimmy. So her and Kimmy goes off to have a conversation and, you know, into the conversation, um, Stormy comes over and gets into the conversation and it started going a, to the left a little bit when Stormy came over there. And I don't think Stormy likes um, Tiffany. And I think Tiffany still got a little slick mouth on her because she said some little slick thing there. And they both uh, was kind of looking at her. Well, all three of them, because at this point, Mel done joined in. So Melanie, uh, uh, Des uh, Melanie, uh, Kimmy and Stormy was kind of looking at her sideways when she said that, and they was real quiet. It was like, mm. and then Kimmy was like, "Oh, that was a joke. That was that was a joke." Okay, okay. So I don't think her and um, uh, Stormy is gonna kick it off too well. I actually think on the upcoming series we are gonna see them get more into a little a little scuffle there. A look, you know, uh, Tiffany is gonna, I guess, not Tiffany, but I think. Um, Letitia is going to say something. I don't know if Tiffany will be there tonight, but I know Stormy is going to get involved on Mel's behalf. And I think, you know, Stormy is probably Mel's new best friend, you know, with Kimmy. And Kimmy, you know, Kimmy always been neutral. She's always kind of, you know, she speaks her mind and she say what she say, but she's always trying to stay out of the thing between uh, Letitia and uh, Mel and stuff. But it's going to be interesting, guys. It's going to be interesting coming up. Um... This Saturday, you guys, make sure you check it out. It comes on every Saturday uh, night at 7 o'clock. So make sure you check it out. But let me know what you think about it. But yeah, mm -hmm. they're going to be messy. Might as well get ready for that. Okay. All right. I'm about to get up out of here. Uh, you guys, if you're out and about, have a good time. Enjoy your life. Live your best life. And just be just, just be kind to people. Okay. Don't forget to go back. Show Brandon some love. Hit that subscribe button. Check you guys out next time around.